Hello and welcome to ExpressionWeb.us. Today we're going to do a video, it's actually a more advanced video on how to create a basic web form and send the data using PHP. PHP, real quickly, is a server-side scripting language that we use instead of front page extensions. Uh, front page extensions used to be used in the previous version of Expression Web, which was actually called front page, but um, more and more uh, we're finding less support for front page extensions in it, and so we're using PHP instead. So unfortunately if you have Expression Web, you're probably going to have to also learn how to use PHP in, a, in order to add interactivity and databases and things like that to your website. So what we're doing today is just using a little bit of PHP code to show you how relatively easy it is to get a form going. This form will be sent by way of email, but the user sending it won't have any way of knowing, will not necessarily know that, it, that it's being sent by way of email. So what you're going to have at the end of the day is something that looks like this. So it'll be a, a form, it's a com comments box we made, but you could conceivably have any kind of data in here that you wanted. We just made a simple comments box. We have a, a little um, question we need answered and this is to try to prevent spam from getting sent in uh, to your email. So um, you don't have to have this feature but we highly recommend having something like this to prevent you from getting so much spam. We, we find this very helpful but we'll also show you how to um, you know if you don't want to have this feature we, it's very easy to not have it. So um, the one thing that is important to note is that your um, is that your um, is that your server or hosting account has to have PHP be running PHP on it for this to work. If you don't have PHP, then you're going to have to use uh, front page extensions if your server or hosting account supports that. But um, if you have your server through GoDaddy, it basically forces you to choose either you use front page extensions or you use PHP, but you can't run uh, both on the, uh, both of them. At least that's the way GoDaddy's set, set up. And so we decided to use PHP instead of front page extensions. So anyway, let's get started. Um, we'll get started by creating a site. Uh, as you know, we like these template sites because they allow you to get up and running really fast. This template template site is going to go in a master folder called Web Form 4, and this basically creates a site for us. Um, we like the template sites because it allows you to get a website up and running very quickly, and with just a little bit of customization, adding new graphics and photos, you can really make it your own and make it look fairly professional. You can even get to where you're sw swapping out all the navigation and ending up almost with a completely different looking site. So let's take a look at this site real quickly. I'm going to show you something. Um, my resolution is set, um, and what's happened is this, all this, like this graphic and this text should all be up here, but um, it's not, I believe, mostly because of the way my uh, resolution is set on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can fix this. Your system at home may not do this, but I just want to show you a quick fix for this. Right now, what we want to do is move this to the right and up. So we're going to change the orientation of this from left to right, and then we're going to actually make the container bigger. When we do that, then all this will move up. So I'll show you how easy that is to do. What we'll do is come into the dynamic web template and uh, see that we're linking to the style sheet one. So we'll go over here to the style sheet one and uh, we come down here to con content and we're just going to, what we're going to do is just change that from left to right and then we're going to come up here to the container and just increase the size by about 20 pixels so we're going to change that to 640 pixels and save that when I save that, that cuts across all the, the pages now let's go back, we have to be in the default page to preview let's hit F12 and see what's happened See now where that box is down here? It's all moved up here. So that's much, uh, much better. I could probably shave off some pixels here to move it a little bit over, but that's good enough for now. I just wanted to show you that in case uh, you have that problem. So now what we're going to do is 
we're going to add a comment box. That's the form we're going to add. Now we have a choice here. We could either go into one of our existing pages and add it, or we can create a new page. So what we're going to do to, um, for this example today is we're just going to add a new page. So let's, um, how we're going to do that is we're going to come in here and just go File, New, Page. We have our choice here. We're going to, it's an HTML page, so we're going to go OK that creates a new untitled blank page. We're going to right click up here on this tab and save it. And we're, it's going to be our comments page, so we're just going to type in comments and save that. Then um, if we want, we can even come down here, right click, go to page properties, and just change the name of the page to comments. We're not going to fill all of this in. You can do that later. Now we've got a completely blank page. So how do we get this page to look like all the other? This is an eight-page website. Well, what we can do is we can attach the master dynamic web template, and it'll bring in a lot of um, all the formatting and navigation that we need. So we come up here to Format, down here to Dynamic Web Template, Attach. Scroll down here to Master. We go Open, and it, sh it automatically brings in the formatting that's on all these other eight pages. So that's pretty quick and easy, right? So now what we do, um, this will be our comments page. So where it says heading here, what we're going to do is we're just going to type in comments. Just like that. We don't need this text down here, so we're just going to backspace and get rid of that. Said I recommend you keep this in split view. We're going to be switching in and out of the between the code view and the design view. There's advantages to working in the code view, so it's good to be comfortable, get comfortable um, observing and learning what's going on in the code. Okay, so now let's just take a look at our comments box. Just we hit up 12. That's what it's going to look like. So now what we're going to do? We've got our page set up. Um, one thing we need is there's no link to this page. So this is the comments page but there's no link to it. So we're going to add a link to the comments page and then we're just going to add a form in here and that should take care of that. So let me show you how we do that real quickly. Let's add a link to this page. It's a new page. So what, to do that we're going to go into the the dynamic web template. This is really fairly straightforward. Highlight it, right click, copy, and then we should be able to hit paste. There we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in comments right there. And then what we're going to do is this, uh, highlight the word comment. And then let's save this right, 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 right quick here. Okay. So what we did, if we come back now and we go over to the default page, Let's see what I what we did. I added a link, right? So there's a link on the nav bar now to the but if you click on it, it takes me to the contact page, right? I don't want to go to the contact page, I want to go to the comments page that I just built. So what I have to do now is go back in and put a link, uh, uh, the correct link. So what I'll do is we have comments highlighted here. You come down here and put your cursor uh, over the, the comments in the design view and then right click. It'll say hyperlink properties. We come up here to comments and hit comments and go OK. And that'll create the link that I need. So now we'll save that. I want to also uh, point out something here is that whenever you see an asterisk up here by the name, that means that the page hasn't been saved. So if you ever see asterisks up there, click on those pages and save that because that means you've got an unsaved um, page there. So now let's go back to the default page and see what we got so far. Okay, so now we've got our link to our comments page and there it is. So we're good to go. So now all we have to do is bring in a form and create a form.